Here is the eMeet C960 webcam. The specs are on screen and the test will be done using the default setting straight out of the box unless otherwise stated, so let's get into it. Let's get the worst case scenario out the way first and that is using it in a dark room. We can be seen and the movement is not the worst that we've seen in this situation and you will get away with it if you need to make a quick call. What we did notice when we moved further away from the lens is that we got a lot of green on the wall to the right and in the background too, but this disappeared as we got closer letting in natural light from outside and it looks okay but it's nothing really to get excited about movement is good but we did notice that when we came close to the lens then the whole image got bright and it darkened when we moved away and this is not something that we've experienced to this extent on any other webcam so far when we use the small ring light in front of us then it looked pretty good we don't seem to be getting that color change on the walls like we did when we had no light available and the colors overall are looking pretty good too we also didn't get the light changes when we come close to the lens like we did in the previous test. This is a microphone test using the eMeet C960 webcam. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the inbuilt microphone on this webcam. When we focus on a small Lego character, then we're in focus until around 8 inches or so away, then we lose the focus as we get closer. So not going to be great if you need to get really close to something. Removing the green screen proved to be a bit of a woeful experience. We just couldn't get it to be removed, even after playing with the sliders and moving lighting around. So this may bring issues if you do rely on using a green screen. Naturally sitting at our desk next to the window, and we're washed out by the light that's coming in. We played around with the exposure settings in OBS and we got ourselves a much better result by manually configuring it. We then closed the curtains and used the ring light in front of us and we looked extremely washed out now when we used those auto settings. But when we switched on a light behind ourselves then this sorted out the exposure issue and put colour back into our face and it delivered a good looking image. We then turned off the backlight and played around with the manual exposure settings and managed to get a good looking picture but we did lose some colour to our face. I wouldn't recommend using the manual white balance on this webcam as you end up looking either too green or too blue. So using the auto settings for the white balance seemed to bring the best result. If you do find that the colours are looking a little dull then you can add some manual saturation to bring some more colour to the overall picture. The C960 is currently coming in at £35.99 on Amazon with a 25% off voucher. If you're still on the lookout for a budget webcam but one that has auto focus, the video on screen now has you covered.